Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, I got the uh, track hardwired last night. And uh, I've been playing with that 999 that just arrived. But I wanted to do a video on the uh, track itself. Uh, hardwiring these tracks make a tremendous difference in how these trains run. I mean, it really made a tremendous difference. So I've got uh, three Commodore Vanderbilts. All of them are wind-up conversions. This one has an original pre-war motor in it. So anyway, I'm just going to run these around so you can see the uh, results. Hardwiring this track made a huge difference in how these engines run. So these engines are just absolutely purring, all of them. So like I said, the setup is slowly coming together. And it made a tremendous difference wiring this track, or hard wiring the track. And it doesn't show. That's the nice thing about it. You have no wires going to the, uh, no visible wires going to the track anywhere on the layout. Makes it for a nice, cleaner look. Anyway, I just wanted to do a video. These things are running really well. So uh, I'm going to be adding one more track, a fourth track. Uh, these are set up just for testing these engines. And like, uh, like I said, for the last year, that's all I've been doing is buying these engines, the cheapest junkiest ones I can find. And the ones I can't fix become parts for the ones that I can. But so far I have, I think, 41 of them now. And all of them are running. Every single one of these run, and run well. And all junk from eBay. So uh, just wanted to do a video on this track. Working really, really well. And also a plug for these transformers. These are the American Flyer 4B. Now these things are great. They're cheap and they're powerful. These are 100 watts, and uh, the most I've paid for one of these was $12. And it's the best transformer I've ever used, better than anything else that I've ever used, Lionel or Marks. These things work, they work really well, and they're cheap. And I've replaced the cords on all of them. It's one thing you do have to do. But uh, to replace these cords, another great tip, just go down to Walmart, buy a $1.99 extension cord, cut the end off, and you have a brand new cord for your transformer works really well. So anyway, just a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.